Hey everyone, um, if you all remember about a week ago I did a video about how Viola Davis won the Emmy for lead actress on the show How to Get Away with Murder and I mentioned how I had mixed emotions about her winning like on the one hand I was happy because She's an amazing actress. She's great. Like, it was nice to see a woman of color represented. But at the same time, I was like, it took them this long to have a black woman win lead actress. Like, that should tell us as black people that we need to get our own media. Because a lot of us have that mentality where, oh, we want to be accepted into mainstream white media. And then we get complain, we, you know, we complain when we get shitted on because we're really on their turf. We're on their media. It's not really as unified as they try to make it seem. And what a lot of people weren't really talking about is how this bitch, soap actress Nancy Lee Gron talked a lot of shit about Viola Davis. And it even says it here, Viola Davis attacked over Emmy's speech by soap actress Nancy Lee Gron, who then apologized after backlash. Because this bitch, she knew what she said was fucked up and racist. That's why her ass apologized, because she told on herself, oh, I'm not a racist. Yeah, bitch, whatever. Okay, she said, wait, before I show you that, let me show you the news clip. Hold on. Viola Davis attacked over her Emmy speech. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. Soap actress Nancy Lee Grand was not a fan of the actress's acceptance speech at Sunday night's Emmy. Viola became the first black actress to win an outstanding lead actress Emmy. The General Hospital star... No, and you know what? It's blatantly obvious. This bitch is jealous because Viola Davis looks a thousand times better than her. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Because, let's be honest, Nancy Lee Grand looks old as hell. And she's only mad because she's been confined to doing soap opera work on General Hospital all these years. Whereas, Viola Davis has been in really great movies and blockbuster hits and stuff like that. And now she's crossed over into television where her show is pretty much the number one show. And she got an Emmy for lead actress and the fact that it's a black woman makes your blood boil. Be honest, bitch. That's what it is. You can't stand to see it. And this is what a, some black women don't get. Whenever we get something, a lot of white women want it too. They feel, they feel entitled. Like, huh, this black chick got it. I should have gotten it before her. They were even like that back in history with black men. They were like, a black men shouldn't get to vote before we get to vote. We're white women. So history has a way of repeating itself. They never got rid of that entitlement gene. They, they've always had it. Even little white girls as young as five years old have it. I've seen it. And this bitch is angry. She's angry because Viola Davis is talented. She won. And she got something that Nancy Lee Gron has been working for years to get, but could never achieve. And you're pissed about that, aren't you, bitch? And yeah, I'm calling her a bitch because what she said was really foul and out of pocket. Expressed her thoughts on Twitter, then apologized. Gran tweeted, quote, I think she's the bee's knees, but she's elite of TV performers. Brilliant as she is, she has never been discriminated against. Okay, now that shit pisses me off. As a black woman, as a black person, period. Who the fuck are you, as a white woman, to say that Viola Davis has never been discriminated against? I'm sorry, bitch. Have you been on the receiving end of being called a nigger? Have you ever been, you know, denied a job because of how you look? Have you always been, you know, worried about your boyfriend, your husband, your father going out late at night because you're worried they could either be profiled, shot to death, or killed? No, you haven't. So don't talk to me or 
anybody else about discrimination because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And yeah, I sound angry because she has no right to talk about racism like she's fucking lived through it. She doesn't know shit. Back in slavery days, black women were working alongside black men. And what were white women doing? Sitting on the porch in their pretty dresses drinking lemonade. So don't talk about that shit with me. Don't, don't even. Like, Diana Davis is better than me because I would have said something. I would have been like, you don't know shit. You don't know a damn thing about being discriminated against. Racism could look you in the face and you wouldn't even know what it is, you bitch. And yeah, I'm calling her a bitch because she's, she's coming out of her mouth being all bold, so I guess I'm going to do the same. This woman, she needs to have a seat and go back to frickin' General Hospital in Port Charles or whatever the hell it's called. After her tweets were met with backlash, she backpedaled, tweeting, quote, Viola Davis winning lead actress Emmys historic. My upset is acting awards don't fix racial injustice. Bitch, we never said that acting awards fix racial injustice. If anybody knows that shit, black people know that shit, bitch. We don't need you to say that for us. And that's not even an apology. That's like a backhanded apology. Like, oh, Viola Davis winning. <laughs> that's historic, but acting awards don't fix racial injustice. <laughs> yeah, we didn't say that it did. We were just happy to see one of our own being up there for a change. But there's my point again. We need to get away from being in everyone else's media. We need to have our own. I mean, look at people in India. They have Bollywood. Look at the Latino, Hispanic community. They have um, Telemundo. They have that. What do we have as black people? We don't have our own media. So then we're subjected to bullshit like this. That's why I had mixed emotions in the video, because it was very, very telling how in Viola Davis 1, Taraji P. Henson was the only one that stood up. I mean, that should have said something to people. Everyone else was kind of like, yeah, 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 let's keep it moving, who's next? Like, they were like, upset to see this black woman win. It made their blood boil. And I don't count this shit that Nancy Gran said as an apology because that's not an apology. That's a backhanded apology. Like, oh, oh, it was historic, but my upset is acting awards don't fix racial injustice. Bitch, what the fuck do you know about racial injustice, huh? What? Oh, wait. When have you been discriminated against, huh? When were your people ever told that they couldn't drink from the same water fountain as other people or that they couldn't use the same restrooms because, oh, oh, our people carry diseases or, oh, you, you can't sit all the way on this side of the restaurant. You have to go around the back to get your food. Huh? Oh, wait. Yeah, you don't know shit. And, quote, I never mean to diminish her accomplishment. I wish I could get her role. Yeah, yeah, you wish you could get her role. See, these people tell on themselves. Oh, I, I never meant to diminish her accomplishment. See, these people kill me with this shit. You come out all bold, and your tone is incredibly racist. And that's what I keep telling a lot of black people, that racist people don't necessarily have to call you boy, the N-word, Nothing like that. It's all about tone. You can tell how their body language is around you, the shit they say to you, certain words they use. You can tell. And they end up telling on themselves. They try so hard to hide that racism, but they can't do it. They can't do it. It's like a green-eyed monster that won't go away. Look at this shit. I never mean to diminish her accomplishment. I wish I could get her roles. She is a goddess. I want equality for all women, not just actors. See what I mean? She turned her shit around and made it into a feminism issue. It's not a feminism issue, you dumb bitch. It's a black racial issue. I mean, this goes back to the 70s when a lot of black women, and I'm not talking about all, when a lot of black women fell for the shit the 
that white women were telling them. Oh, we're all women and, you know, we need to get away from the men. They're trying to control us. And then look. Too many black women fell for the whole, oh, I'm independent. I don't need a man. And then what did white women do? They went on into the suburbs, got married, had their 2.5 kids, and a lot of black women were left raising children alone, and they went on welfare. And I'm not talking about all, but a lot of women abandoned the whole civil rights issue and the black power movement to go and stand with these white women who were never our friends to begin with. And Nancy Lee Grun, typical white feminist, I want equality for all women. Oh, bitch, you don't care about all women. You just care about you and white women, but mostly you, you know. She is a goddess. I want equality for all women, not just actors. <sighs> She also apologized several times. I apologize to anyone who I offended. I've been a woman advocate since I became one. After reading responses, I hear you and my tweet was badly phrased. No, it wasn't. You got all bold and you were angry that Viola won and that you're still on soap operas, bitch. And then you got all, oh my god, pe people are calling me a racist. Yeah, I know it's funny. People who are racist, they never want to be called one, huh? Because deep down you know it's bad, but you know, you can't shake it, can you? No, no, you can't. After reading responses, I hear you, and my tweet was badly phrased. Get out of here with that. You knew what you were saying. The only reason you went out and apologized is because people were calling you out for what you are. A damn racist. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, guys, I'll read you the article. It seems not everyone was a fan of Viola Davis's moving Emmy acceptance speech. General Hospital actress Nancy Lee Grand seemed to express dissatisfaction with the How to Get Away with Murder star calling for more diversity in Hollywood on Sunday night. Look at her. She looks old. She's mad because Viola Davis is in her 50s and still looks good. Like I didn't even know Viola Davis was in her 50s. I thought she was in like... Her early to mid 40s, if that. But see, that melanin, that damn melanin. Don't you wish you had some melanin, Nancy? I know you do. Because those wrinkles, not a good look, honey. Not a good look. Anyway, <laughs> on Twitter, Gron wrote, I wish I loved Viola Davis's speech, but I thought she should have let Shonda Rhimes write it. Okay, now... <clears throat> we all know that that was a damn dig, okay? She's low-key saying that we don't know how to write and that we don't know how to carry ourselves in public and that we're bad at self-expression as black people. And to Nancy Lee Gron, fuck you. Because we all know what you were saying. And see, that's a prime example of how you don't necessarily have to use a racial slur to be racist. People have gotten real subtle. They feel like we can't pick up on shit. No, we pick up on it. We can tell. In a follow-up reply to someone who noted that Shonda Rhimes tweeted out after loving Davis's speech, Gron wrote, I think she's the bee's knees, but she's a lead of TV performers. Brilliant as she is, she has never been discriminated against. And to Nancy Lee Gron, I say this. How the hell do you know that, huh? Have you walked in a black woman's shoes, huh? Have you? No, I didn't think so. So sit down. Suggesting that Davis, as a black woman in Hollywood, hasn't faced discrimination merely because of what she accomplished was met with a ton of backlash from the Emmy winner's supporters. And though her initial tweets still remain, Gron continued to backpedal and apologize for her remarks. In one tweet, Gron suggested that actors are irrelevant to fixing true racial injustice, writing, Viola Davis winning lead actress Emmy's historic. 
My Upset is Acting Awards don't fix racial injustice. As an actor, I see how irrelevant we are. Um, bitch, you're fucking irrelevant because you're on a damn soap opera. For what? The last... I don't know, 20 to 30 years. Meanwhile, Viola Davis has bypassed you in TV, movies, and just life in general. I know. You're mad, aren't you? Get over it. After that, Gron posted several apology tweets, including, I apologize to anyone who I offended. I'm a women advocate since I became one. After reading responses, I hear you. And my tweet was badly phrased. Wow. Schooled as surrogate, two last Democratic presidents. I thought I needed no less than inequality. I was wrong. Please accept my apology. Insincere as hell. I apologize for my earlier tweets. And now realize I need to check my own privilege. Yeah, uh, honey, save that shit for somebody who cares. However, as the night drew on, Gran took a slightly more antagonistic line against the backlash, writing, 3 a.m., tried to respond to you with love as I should, gotten mostly condescension, condescension and vitriol. Tomorrow, new day. Won't begin it with anything but love. Oh, shut up. Finally, on Monday morning, Gron wrote, 30 years an advocate for human rights, and now I'm a racist. Color me heartbroken. Twitter can bring out the best, and sadly tonight, the worst of us. Stop it. You said what you said, and now you're mad that people are calling you out on your bullshit. At the 2015 Emmys on Sunday night, 50-year-old Davis became the first black woman ever to win an Outstanding Lead Actress Emmy. In an inspiring emotional acceptance speech, she said, In my mind, I see a line, quoting Harriet Tubman. And over that line, I see green fields and lovely flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line. But I can't seem to get there, no how. I can't seem to get over that line. Let me tell you something, the actress continued. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. You cannot win an Emmy for roles that are simply not there. And that's true. And that's why I keep reiterating that we need to get our own media. Why do you think the roles aren't there? You think you really think the white man really wants to put roles for black women and women of color and all that? No. Why do you think he puts his woman on a pedestal? Because it's his woman. We as black people need to be unified and we need to stick up for each other and learn how to trust each other and work together because that's the issue here. We don't work with each other and that is why we end up in situations like this. Davis also mentioned Empire's Taraji P. Henson, who stayed standing and clapping throughout Davis' speech, and Scandal's Carrie Washington, who was visibly teared up. Okay, hold on. I'm not a huge Carrie Washington fan because, see, I pick up on shit. Okay, Taraji P. Henson stood up for Viola Davis. What the hell, Carrie? What the hell? Why didn't you stand up? What? Why? What, were you embarrassed that a whole bunch of white people would see you supporting another black person? Was it that? Yeah, I mean, you were teared up, but it wasn't any, like, you know, like, sad story. It was kind of like, she was like, oh, yay, she won, but I, I, I have to keep my excitement to a minimum. You know, I, I could read that by her, you know? Let me start over. Scandals Carrie Washington, who was visibly teared up, and thanked them along with fellow actresses Halle Berry, Nicole Bahari, Megan Good, and Gabrielle Union for taking us over that line. After the show, Davis told E.T., tomorrow I go back to work. That 
that's how I digest it. Because I can press the fast forward button and know that I'm going to have to continue to be an actor, continue to make choices, continue to perform in a show every week. We put our work out there as women of color constantly for so many years. It's our time, Davis continued. You are brilliant, perfect, and amazing, Viola. Celebrate this. Let's look at the comments. You learn a lot from looking at the comments, don't you? Okay. David Anthony. It is always race. You can't tell a person how to respond, especially black African Americans. 400 years? You are just like Nancy Lee Grunt. Huh? I don't know what he's trying to say. Let me go to somebody else. Privileged white bitch? Yep. Stop watching General Hospital? Yep, my thoughts exactly. Oh, stop it. There's this white woman trying to say she deals with racism. Let me read this shit. Ryan Jones, I deal with racism every day too. I live in the ghetto. Racism is no longer against one race. Nancy didn't bash or was racist at all. She said all women, which if blacks truly wanted to unite as one with us, would stop singling themselves out all while saying let's be one which is what Viola's speech was. Nancy said it's all women. As for General Hospital letting her go, if so, fans are already coming together and will boycott G General Hospital and all of ABC, which includes Viola's show. This woman needs to stop it. See what I mean? Whatever we say we're discriminated against, they come at it like, oh, 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 we are too. Pick me. Pick me. I'm discriminated too. I'm a woman. Even though I'm white and I reap the benefits of white privileges, I'm still a woman. Stop it. You don't experience even a little bit of what a black woman experiences. Get out of here with that. Let me read this one comment, then I'll end the video. I would have preferred that Nancy not make apologies for fear of repercussions. That's why everyone would know what her opinion is and because she has a right to express that opinion. But with expressing that opinion, especially in a public forum, you have to expect that not everyone is going to agree and might even express their own, which is also their right. Viola Davis did the same, and I'm sure she did it knowing full well that there would be some people that were not going to agree with her speech. But we do not see her making apologies like Nancy, though. It could hardly be considered an attack. And the question I have to ask myself is, why did she feel that need to? Guilt, maybe? In my own opinion, I can agree that Viola did not win because she is a black woman, but I can say that her opportunity for even being chosen might be the focus. A lot of roles for black people in general are for the most part stereotypical. Just because you have been exposed to a few shows with leading black people, women in particular, does not mean that things are equal. There are certain topics like racism, privilege, etc., that are lost on some people because they don't have a point of reference. Racism still exists, and privilege is not just about financial stability. Lastly, it is a hilarious notion that not talking about something makes it go away. If your husband is cheating on you and you don't talk about it, does that mean that he is going to stop? It is a weak notion that people would prefer to continue to be unhelpful bystanders instead of useful human beings. Yep, so true. And this woman knew she was wrong. That's why she freaking apologized. Because she was like, oh my god, they're calling me a racist, even though that's what I am. She's not fooling anybody. Anyway. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. More videos coming up soon. Have a good day. About. And yeah, I sound angry because she has no right to talk about racism like she's fucking lived through it. She doesn't know shit. Back in slavery days, black women were working alongside black men. And what were white women doing? Sitting on the porch in their pretty dresses drinking lemonade. 
So don't talk about that shit with me. Don't, don't even. Like, Diana Davis is better than me because I would have said something. I would have been like, you don't know shit. You don't know a damn thing about being discriminated against. Racism could look you in the face and you wouldn't even know what it is, you bitch. And yeah, I'm calling her a bitch because she's, she's coming out of her mouth being all bold, so I guess I'm going to do the same. This woman, she needs to have a seat and go back to freaking General Hospital in Port Charles or whatever the hell it's called. After her tweets were met with backlash, she backpedaled, tweeting, quote, Viola Davis winning lead actress Emmy's historic My Upset is Acting Awards don't fix racial injustice. Bitch, we never said that acting awards fix racial injustice. If anybody knows that shit, black people know that shit, bitch. We don't need you to say that for us. And that's not even an apology. That's like a backhanded apology. Like, Oh, Viola Davis winning. <laughs> That's historic, but acting awards don't fix racial injustice. <laughs> yeah, we didn't say that it did. We were just happy to see one of our own being up there for a change. They were even like that back in history with black men. They were like, a black men shouldn't get to vote before we get to vote. We're white women. So history has a way of repeating itself. They never got rid of that entitlement gene. They've always had it. Even little white girls as young as five years old have it. I've seen it. And this bitch is angry. She's angry because Viola Davis is talented. She won. And she got something that Nancy Lee Gron has been working for years to get but could never achieve. And you're pissed about that, aren't you, bitch? And yeah, I'm calling her a bitch because what she said was really foul and out of pocket her thoughts on Twitter, then apologized. Grand tweeted, quote, I think she's the bee's knees, but she's elite of TV performers. Brilliant as she is, she has never been discriminated against. Okay, now that shit pisses me off. As a black woman, as a black person, period. Who the fuck are you, as a white woman, to say that Viola Davis has never been discriminated against? I'm sorry, bitch. Have you been on the receiving end of being called a nigger? Have you ever been, you know, denied a job because of how you look? Have you always been, you know, worried about your boyfriend, your husband, your father going out late at night because you're worried they could either be profiled, shot to death, or killed? No, you haven't. So don't talk to me or anybody else about discrimination because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But there's my point again. We need to get away from being in everyone else's media. We need to have our own. I mean, look at people in India. They have Bollywood. Look at the Latino, Hispanic community. They have um, Telemundo. They have that. What do we have as black people? We don't have our own media, so then we're subjected to bullshit like this. That's why I had mixed emotions in the video, because it was very, very telling how in Viola Davis won, Taraji P. Henson was the only one that stood up. I mean, that should have said something to people. Everyone else was kind of like, yeah, 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 let's keep it moving, who's next? Like, they were like, upset to see this black woman win. It made their blood boil. And I don't count this shit that Nancy Gran said as an apology. Because that's not an apology. That's a backhanded apology. Like, oh, oh, it was historic, but my upset is acting awards don't fix racial injustice. Bitch, what the fuck do you know about racial injustice, huh? What? I'll wait. When have you been discriminated against, huh? When were your people ever told that they couldn't drink from the same water fountain as other people or that they couldn't use the same restrooms because, oh, oh, our people carry diseases or, oh, you, you can't sit all the way on this side of the restaurant. You have to go around the back to get your food. Huh? Hey, everyone. Um, if you all remember, about a week ago, I did a video about how Viola Davis won the Emmy for Lead Actress on the show How to Get Away with Murder. And I mentioned how I had mixed emotions about her winning. Like, on the one hand, 
I was happy because she's an amazing actress. She's great. Like it was nice to see a woman of color represented, but at the same time, I was like, it took them this long to have a black woman win lead actress. Like that should tell us as black people that we need to get our own media. Because a lot of us have that mentality where, oh, we want to be accepted into mainstream white media. And then we get complain. We, you know, we complain when we get shitted on because we're really on their turf. We're on their media. It's not really as unified as they try to make it seem. And what a lot of people weren't really talking about is how this bitch, soap actress Nancy Lee Gron talked a lot of shit about Viola Davis. And it even says it here, Viola Davis attacked over Emmy's speech by soap actress Nancy Lee Gron, who then apologized after backlash. Because ugh, this bitch, she knew what she said was fucked up and racist. That's why her ass apologized, because she told on herself, oh, I'm not a racist. Yeah, bitch, whatever. Okay, she said, wait, before I show you that, let me show you the news clip. Hold on. Viola Davis attacked over her Emmy speech. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. Soap actress Nancy Lee Gran was not a fan of the actress's acceptance speech at Sunday night's Emmy. Viola became the first black actress to win an outstanding lead actress Emmy. The General Hospital star... Ex no, and you know what? It's blatantly obvious. This bitch is jealous because Viola Davis looks a thousand times better than her. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Because, let's be honest, Nancy Lee Gron looks old as hell. And she's only mad because she's been confined to doing soap opera work on General Hospital all these years. Whereas, Viola Davis has been in really great movies and blockbuster hits and stuff like that. And now she's crossed over into television where her show is pretty much the number one show. And she got an Emmy for lead actress and the fact that it's a black woman makes your blood boil. Be honest, bitch. That's what it is. You can't stand to see it. And this is what a, some black women don't get. Whenever we get something, a lot of white women want it too. They feel, they feel entitled. Like, huh, this black chick got it. I should have gotten it before her.